hello everybody hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel hello guys i'm happy to see you all happy weekend to everybody hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is stephanie agbon choir and i'm popularly known as daughter of zion <laughs> hello everybody please if this is your first time to stumble in my youtube channel please don't forget to give this video a thumb up subscribe turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified when i upload a new video please don't forget to share remember sharing is caring okay also please i need your comments in the comment section below what you think about the video what works best for you how you get rid of you know stuff like that just leave it in the comment section what you think about the video what's up with you how you get rid of your own and stuff like that okay so guys welcome to another episode of health talk okay <laughs> i'm so happy to see you all so today we're gonna be talking about health talk all right and guess what the topic is okay so today we're gonna be talking about hiccups guys we're gonna be talking about hiccups I'm trying to produce the sound, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to produce the sound of the hiccups, okay, guys? So today we're going to be talking about hiccups, all right? We're going to start with what hiccups is all about, how the sound came about, the definition of the hiccups, and also what causes hiccup, okay? What causes hiccup and what you should do when you have hiccups. So today we're going to be talking about hiccups pretty much, okay, guys? So stay tuned till the end, okay? <laughs> hello everybody welcome back so what i want there are certain things that i want you to know about hiccups okay guys there are certain things that i want you to know about hiccups all right so oh uh, hiccups first of all what do you want to know about hiccup is that it is there are different stages or part okay the first part is that it deals with the diaphragm yes it deals with the diaphragm which is a muscles that is at the base of the lungs like pretty much the muscles that we use in breathing okay so it deals with the diaphragm which is the muscles that sit at the base of the lungs it is pretty much the main most muscles that we use for breathing okay so that's the diaphragm okay so another thing you want to know like pretty much like the definition of a hookup is that hookup is the involuntary movement of the diaphragm remember we said in the first part that the first part of the hiccups it deals with the diaphragm okay and the, the diaphragm is pretty much oh uh, it's pretty much the muscles that sit at the base of the lungs, what we use for breathing, okay? So another part of the of the of definition is that hiccups deals with diaphragm, and diaphragm or hiccups is the involuntary movement of the diaphragm and usually caused by diaphragm being irritated. And there are a lot of things that, or a couple of things that causes the diaphragm to be irritated, and that's the reason why we have hiccups, okay? Another part of that I want you to understand about this hiccup is that Hiccups produces sound. Let's talk now about the sound that hiccups produces, okay? Produces sound. The sound is caused by a quick closure of the vocal cords. So that it is a it is a cause cut of the event. The involuntary movement of the diaphragm and it's the quick closure of the vocal cord that causes the hip sound that creates the hiccup. Should I take that one more time again? Okay, sorry. <laughs> the second part of the hiccup is that it produces a sound all right the sound is caused by the quick closure of the vocal cords so that it is a casket of the events the involuntary movement of the diaphragm and is a quick closing of the vocal cord that creates the hip the hip sound of course that created the hiccups okay so that's pretty much hiccup is it is the involuntary movement of the diaphragm when the diaphragm get irritated which i'm going to list some of the things that get the diaphragm irritated shortly so hiccup pretty much is this with the diaphragm and the diaphragm is like it's pretty much like the base of the lungs pretty much what we use for breathing okay so why we have hiccup is because the diaphragm there are certain things that we do that causes the diaphragm to be irritated okay yes ma'am that causes the diaphragm to be irritated and i'm gonna take that point out the last time before we dive into what causes you know the diaphragm to be irritated okay so the sound the second part is that the hiccup produces sound i'm still taking it over for those you know who wants to pretty much understand it the second part deals with the sound why how does the sound come about because it produces a sound so how does this sound come about is what we really want to know the second part of the hiccup is that it produces a sound which is caused by quick closure of the vocal cord so that it is a casket of the events 
like it is the one who causes the involuntary movement of the diaphragm and it is a quick closure of the vocal cord that causes the hip sound like the hip the hip sound of course that causes the hiccups all right so i'm gonna go ahead and list out some of the causes or what do we do that we have hiccups like okay let me put it this way what are some of the things that we do that irritate the diaphragm does that make it simple i think so some of the things that we do that irritate the diaphragm and causes hiccups okay so i'm gonna list out some of the things i know i was guilty when i <laughs> When I study this, I was guilty, and I know there will be one or two of them that you are guilty of. So sometimes when the hiccups come, we had it, we caused it anyway. So I just want to list out some of the things that will get the diaphragm irritated and hence produces the hiccup sound. Okay. Why is the diaphragm being irritated? Is the next question. What do you think? Leave it in the comment section below. Let me see what you think might cause the diaphragm to be irritated, hence causing hiccups. All right. So what are the things that causes the diaphragm to be irritated? I'm going to list out some of them and I know I was guilty. Hopefully you get the one. Eating too quickly. The first one is eating too quickly. Sometimes maybe we're coming back from work, coming back from school or somewhere, maybe anywhere. And you are so really hungry. Like you can't, you can't wait to eat because you're really hungry. So sometimes eating too fast can cause the diaphragm to be irritated and hence it can cause this hiccups all right another point is eating too much too much let's say for example <laughs> you've gone the whole day without eating and then you just came back home they, pre they prepare your favorite meal okay you you can't just wait like you're eating without non-stop you just want to get it down as soon as possible so that can cause hiccups okay the number third point that can cause hiccup is eating hot or too spicy food yes guys yes sometimes our food are really too spicy and it's really hot. And understand, some people like their food when it's really hot. You know, they get to enjoy it when it's hot. The day in mind, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get hiccups. Okay. So the first point that I said is eating too quickly. The second point is eating too much. The third point is eating hot or too spicy food. The fourth point is drinking carbo carbonated beverages. Yeah, yeah. That can cause hiccups all right so and then the fifth point is drinking alcohol yeah like not really drinking alcohol but drinking i don't want to say too much but sometimes i've seen people who drink a little bit of alcohol and they get hiccups all right i've seen people that they have to drink like excess amounts of alcohol before they get hiccups but let's just assume let's know that drinking alcohol can cause your diaphragm to be irritated okay another point is that feeling anxious nervous or excited that has happened to me i'm guilty of that guys <laughs> sometimes when i become too excited about something i become too nervous about something i'm just like <laughs> before you know i start having hiccups all right so that that alone i'm feeling guilty for that already all right and then the sec the seventh point is that a bloated stomach yeah when your stomach is too bloated you get to experience hiccups okay another point is that contains is there are certain medications too that can cause someone to have hiccups all right there are certain medications you know that can cause you to have a hiccups all right yeah some people have certain underlying medical conditions that can cause these such as abdominal surgery there are some certain medication that can cause hiccups and there are certain Underlining health issue, like I said, abdominal surgery, it can make you to have, cause you to have hiccups, all right? And then the third point is that smoking or chewing gums. Yeah, sometimes when I chew gums a lot, because I'm somebody that before I go, uh, you know, I just like to keep them out, you know, kind of way. So I get to chew gums and before I know I have hiccups, all right? So these are some of the causes, all right? Sometimes... They are a lot, but these are some of the main and few causes of hiccups, all right? So the next question, we've already answered the question of why do the diaphragm get irritated, hence causes hiccups. So those are some of the points that I've listed that causes hiccups. Now, how do I get rid of hiccups is the next question. I know you all. <laughs> how do I get rid of hiccups, okay? So I'm going to list you a couple of ways to get uh, rid of hiccups. But bear in mind that individuals varies, all right? 
what works for you may not work for me okay so we should bear this in mind that individual virus what may work for you may not work for me so you just have to choose what works best for you and deal with it or use it to get rid of hiccups all right because some people what works for them does not work for you so what works for you best just i'm gonna list a couple of them so you choose what works for you best and then you go by it all right so how to get rid of hiccups drinking yeah drinking water a sip of water what i mean by a sip of water is this sometimes when i tell people a sip of water and they're just like hold a bottle of water out there let me give you guys a small demo of what i mean by a sip of water um what i mean by a sip of water is that you drink it a little at a time like yeah so pretty much that's what i mean by a sip of water yeah you can get rid of hiccups by you know a sip of water and i when i tried to do a little bit of research i found out there are other means that you can get rid of hiccups but like i said what what can work best for you might not work for me so you just have to choose what work best for you and you go with it some other sources says uh you could breathe into a paper bag like a paper bag right yeah you can breathe into a paper bag some other sources says you can hold your breath f not for too long like hold your breath but not for too long guys. you have to be really be careful with this holding of breath if you choose that method because you don't want to hold your breath for so long you, you're gonna die <laughs> you don't want to do that another source says <laughs> goggling with ice water i mean those are other sources another source says swallowing a teaspoon of sugar another says pulling on your thumb all right so my thing is like i always tell people i believe in something that has evidence <laughs> so long as it cannot be backed back I don't I don't take it to be serious or to work. That's that just me. That's just the way I am, alright. So what I'm envy, what you should notice about these things is that after I have listed what you should know about these things is that there is no proof of if this actually works. Alright. Let me list out some of those things that website says you can get rid of. You can use them and get rid of hiccups, alright. Some said drinking a gulf of water a sip at a time you could breathe into a paper bag holding breath not for too long like for a short period of time some other sources says goggling with ice water some say swallowing a teaspoon of sugar some say pulling on your tongue all right so there is no proof of if these things that i've listed actually works all right what i normally advise people to do is to choose what works best for them like i said what what might work for you might not work for me so you have to choose what works for you best okay so yeah so what i'll advise people to do the the remedy that i have for hiccups that i know it doesn't have no side effects that i know i can tell you with all uh, evidence with all uh, courage and all uh, whatever you can think of it doesn't have any side effect what i'm telling you is what i do myself all right so drinking a room temperature of water a sip at a time usually get rid of my hiccups okay it get rid of my hiccups that is what i would advise everybody to do because you know this one i have proof that it works and you know it has no side effect remember we're trying to we try to get rid of something we don't want to get rid of something while allowing something to develop else all right we don't want that so my advice to everybody who has hiccups is that take a room temperature sip of water once at a time don't just go like goggling <laughs> sometimes just take it a sip at a time that is how i get rid of my own hiccups okay so it has no side effect water room temperature it can be cold i mean some people prefer cold water but this is what works for me best and it has no side effect that's why i'm encouraging everyone to drink a sip of water room temperature a sip at a time and then your, your hiccups will go okay so there's another thing that comes up like you know People have different, people react to certain things differently. So what I'm going to talk to these people is this. If your hiccups persist over a long period of time, please, please, guys, see your doctor. Normally, hiccups should disappear after a few minutes on the normal circumstances. Hiccups will disappear in a few minutes. Even if you do not drink water, like I said, even if you do not, um, you do not, 
you know use the other sources like beverages or a spoon of sugar even if you don't use any method to get rid of the hiccups on a normal base after a few minutes hiccups should disappear yeah it should disappear it's just that sometimes we use we, we try to look for remedy because hiccups can make you feel very very uncomfortable it makes me feel uncomfortable I don't know what about you but it makes me feel uncomfortable so there are some people that even if they drink water even if they they drink water or do the other method that I've listed the, the hiccups persists in that case you have to see your doctor because it can be reflecting to something else we don't know what is going on in your system so you have to see your doctor so your doctor can run down some few tests for you because it can be sometimes when we see something coming up sometimes the hook the hiccups can just be like something uh, there's an underlying sickness that you don't know or you don't know you have it but it, the hiccup is just showing, showing sign of that sickness so when the hiccup persists you have to see your doctor period point blank you have to see your doctor because normally it would disappear after a few minutes if, if you don't drink water you don't do the other method to get rid of it normally it would disappear after a few minutes but let's talk now about a case where you drink water or maybe you have not drink water and it's persisting few minutes going to an hour you need to see your doctor all right so guys that is all what i have for you guys today i hope you find this video interesting and please don't forget if this is your first time to stumble in my youtube channel please don't forget to give this video a thumb up subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and please don't forget to leave your comment on the comment section below what you think about the video how you get rid of your hiccups what works best for you and stuff like that just leave it in the comment section below and i'll get to that as soon as possible thank you all for supporting me thank you for my subscribers oh i really do appreciate you or you all don't know what you mean to me you mean the world to me i want you to know that if you guys were not there i wouldn't have been here i'm here because of you guys all right so if you have any concern you know what you want me to talk about your personal issues it, it don't matter just leave it in the comment section below and i'll get to that as soon as possible thank you for watching stay blessed and god bless you